Hello, hello. This is Steve, and here we are with Mountain Blade Warband with the Gecko Kujo mod. One of my favorite mods for the game. This game has amazing modders in general. This puts us into the uh, the world of Sengoku Jita, Japan. Um, if you don't know that from history, that's the warring times of the daimyos within Japan that ended up consolidating everyone into the new dynasty after that. So basically, we're going to create our character. We'll go with male who was uh, a G samurai. And we're going to have him be a daimyo's attendant and an armed retainer with provinces. I'm going to have it be loss of a loved one. Why not? And we're going to ride as an adventurer to our uh, <laughs> To our glory and all that other stuff, as every single adventure game is. So I'm going to name our new man Asagi Raito, which you may know Raito from Death Note, but you may not know what it actually means. Asagi Raito basically will translate into pale light. Um. So, I mean, hey, but I, I really love the name, and I've actually used it before a few times, but Pale Light uh, is the translation of this guy's name. He has pretty good charisma. Uh, his intelligence can go up a good amount. Actually, I'm going to use all my beginning attribute points on that. He's going to need some health and power strike. Uh, his leadership can actually wait until the next level up because it's not like we're gonna have a million people following us around right off the bat uh, weapon master uh, let's see pathfinding to make him go a little quicker here surgery is a must so that our people can stay alive uh, after the battles gonna put one in at just one into prisoner management to begin with so that we can carry around some people to sell off some bandits low levels mostly and some moon treatment to you know speed up the recoveries so I love going in with one-handed uh, to begin with because that's what we begin the game with is one-handed weapon uh, I'm probably going to start putting into two-handed weapons after that because I love the two-handed weapons in Gecko Kujo. That and the um, and the amazing archery mechanics. So as for age, let's make him young. His hair color can be a dark black. What do we got for beards? Ooh. We don't want our guy to be straggly, but we're going to give him a nice, like, maybe a Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu would be a hilarious little thing. But you know th what? I'm liking this. I'm digging this in the little ponytail, too. However, I think that I want a bigger ponytail. You know, we're going all Samson hair. Not, ooh, we don't want him bald up top. Oh, actually... That, that looks like a renegade samurai right there. Okay, so we're going to do that. We have a million other things that we actually can, you know, customize and everything else like that. I'm liking this, though. I really am. You know what, instead of spending a ton of time on the character editor, we're going to jump into it. So where are we going to go? Edo, obviously, was uh, eventually to be a very important area, the Kanto region. We got Nagita, Hirosaki, Su, Akata, Sakai. Now, 
I myself like the beginning troops and the, the placement where Edo is, which is kind of central. But it's still on a good region for resources and we can get bandits and everything else. And in the former versions of the Gekko Kujo mod, it was a great place to start out as, with as well. So, you have arrived in Edo, in Masashi Province, a minor castle town on the Kanto Plain. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Edo and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. And we get right into it. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like this. I'm liking this. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, <gasps> oh. Ooh. You had a move there. Ha. Sure. Nope. Oh, and then the merchant. Just like in the regular Mountain Blade. Uh, Warband, you have the uh, attack and then the merchant and everything else. But, you know, the the fighters seem to be a lot better, or at least they're more balanced against the character. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the Ronin. That's one less murderous maniac to trouble our streets. Of the gods, no, he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. So, the merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street. And then, finally, convinced you have not been followed, comes near uh, you to speak. Well, I have to go near to you, my friend. No, let me explain my proposition. I've tried to live my life while ignoring the samurai, even in these turbulent times. I figured that if I kept my head down, none of their plots or wars would affect me. I was wrong. They... they killed my brother, Minamaru. He was a hothead for sure. Maybe he showed disrespect to a haughty lordling. I don't know what actually happened, but it doesn't matter to me. Whether he brought it upon himself or not, nobody should be so exalted that they could kill a brother, son, or father just because they weren't groveled to as they wished. This is no way for the rest of us to live. My other brother, Harenbo, tried to investigate the murder, but he disappeared. He's disappeared since. I originally feared the worst, but I've just come across a rumor that says he's still alive as a captive. So here's what I ask of you. Gather a small party, track down who has taken him, teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get Horenbo home safe. In return, you'll earn my eternal gratitude and a large sum of money. What do you say? Oh, I'm interested in the money. Your gratitude, not so much. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on Samurai and his retainer single-handedly, you will surely lose your head. You must round up a group of volunteers and form a band. This is basically just saying, hey, yeah. I'm giving you money, go to the villages, grab some people, get at least five men, and very good sir, I go, I'll go collect some men from around the villages. Good, you can find me again in the inn here in Edo after you've got your group together, then we'll speak about what we do next. So this is the beginning of Asagi Raito's journey. One little guy. Oh, he looks so sad. And it looks like he's dressed in colonial outfit, actually, which is kind of weird. But hey, so here is the map we got. It is completely redone from uh, Warband, obviously. You have literally all of Japan to go around. And we got Edo right here are you know where we're starting out so as said let's wander over to Ichikawa recruit some villagers I can get three right here we got Lord Tayama maybe he'll give us a little bit of a mission my name is Asagi Raito at your service sir I am Lord Tayama a vassal of a Hojo clan and Lord of Edo I don't know. Weird voices. Uh, well, I have not heard of you, but you have the look of a man who might make something of himself someday. 
What is it? Do you have any tasks? Aha! We've heard reports that a group of Kanto rebels have established a hideout in this area. Ooh, I'm not strong enough for a hideout just yet, I'm imagining. But I'm going to take that so that if I find them along the way, I can actually do something about it. I got five more already. So my party is so far some villagers and myself. What do I got in my inventory? I got a katana and a wakazashi since I was a G samurai. We got some food which I'm going to place down here. That's pretty much it. We need a little bit more going for us before uh, before we can call ourselves any sort of fighting force. I'm going to wander around. Oh, wow. Already found the rebel hideout. Apparently. But, like I said, we are not strong enough. But looters are not strong at all. We can actually level up some of our guys. Maybe get, you know, a headpiece or something. And as of right now, I am pretty low on money and everything else. You know, we're just starting out. I got my army of villagers. Villagers! Hear me. How about we stop right here and wait for them? Now they're going to charge basically straight at us. Actually, let's move up people. I'm just going to say everyone. Because, I mean, even though we're just uh, infantry at the moment. Eventually, yeah, it's gonna be more of a of a micromanagement. Hey! What the? Okay. Huh. There you go. Peace, my blade. I'm gonna get into the swing of things. Ha ha ha! Puns. Come on, guys. Who? Oh, they're running away. Charge! Charge them! Oh, a rock killed them. I only have the Wakazashi and the Katana. And we don't have any horses. Horses are actually a lot more uh, rare to see in the Gekko Kujo mod. As, you know, for the time period in Japan, you didn't exactly see a million different people cavalry-wise. Um, and starting out, I'm not going to have my own horse. That's just simple logic right there. I don't think we're going to be able to chase these, this guy down here. But we're going to try. Come back here! Don't run from us, Agi. You bring shame to your family. Ah, and we have won. I am very, very bloody. I have a blood red sword. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we killed eight, wounded two, routed two. We can actually take the looters um, hostage and sell them off later. We got some random stuff that we can sell. See, there's really oh wait actually four leg armor so that's actually a slight upgrade we don't need that that's cheap as hell and so are these however I can get one extra armor by putting on this little ragged suga uh, sugagasa and I think that's about it and we already have some people in our party who leveled up. I'm going to go with the Spearman to begin with, because we need a, a strong front line more than anything. And we got a patrol going around here. But I think it's important for us to go back to Edo, since we have our men that we need. Uh, also, we can recruit in here, but it's a lot more expensive and everything else. So, 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and talk to oh I'm not sure some sort of animal clearly we got a belligerent drunk so I'm gonna pull out my sword ah. Ah. and I leveled up from a belligerent drunk okay and I got a regular Wakazashi instead of my rusted ass Wakazashi and these guys ran into the other room I'm gonna talk to the slaver I can actually sell these guys off right away and get a little bit of, you know, cash. A little bit of dough. And here is Taro again. Excellent. You've hired enough men to take on any country samurai, especially if they don't know you're coming. Now, travelers entering Edo have told us that there is one waiting outside of town with a small group of retainers. I peeked at them myself, and I'm certain that this one is employed by the same people that that took Hornbow. <laughs> the that that. Unless he's stuttering, that's a typo. Hunt him down and defeat him and make him disclose the location of his master. Very well. So I think actually let's go back in just in case people had run away. Oh, Hoshi. And we have a companion. By far, the most important thing in this game to have is your companions. Now, now that I have some troops, I'm gonna want a little bit of food. Let's replace my rusty Wakazashi with a regular one. Uh, what foods? Dried river fish. Huh. So they're apparently much better. Yeah, they're a lot better and more expensive. So, we're gonna go with some brown rice for you guys, some cabbage, and let's see how much all these things get me. So, I won't be paying too, too much for it. And this is good for the few people I have so far. Uh, I think that's good. So, we're out of here. And the samurai traveling party is right here. And we can go put the smack down on him. I've been looking for you. Tell me who your lord is and where he lives and I will let you go. I don't know what I was doing there. Who are you? Who are you taking me? Or why are you talking to me? Oh my god. I'm a little tired, okay? So, we're going to threaten him. Are you serious? You just told me that you wanted to die. Okay, we shall see who dies today. You don't face Asagi Raito and his peasants without fearing, you know, without some sort of death coming to you. Rar. So, I'm really liking the fact that we have a few spearmen here. We got our, our buddy here, Hoshi. Hoshi's just standing here. He's got his uh, his giant stick. Yes, I know it's a staff. He's got pole arms and everything else. But let's have them follow me for now. Where are you guys? Oh, there they are. So we're going to have you guys set up camp here. Oh, holy crap. Okay. They got an archer. They've got... Oh, archers. You know what? Charge in. We don't have archers. We don't have horses, we don't have shields, because, you know, Japan, they're not going to be using shields, really. Yeah. Attack! And easy peasy. Take that, and that, and that, and that. Okay, they're dead. So, we got the one wounded, obviously. Uh, well, actually, we have two wounded, but uh, the Ashiguri, one wounded, and the samurai guy is the one who was going to tell us where to go. This guy. How dare you! I'm a key vassal of Lord Toyama. You know, you don't really look like a vassal. You look like a guy who's wandering around the countryside with only three very weak people guarding you at all. So... The letters you carried in your baggage tell me who you really work for. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of obvious to, you know. 
So we got that done. Capture an Ashigoro. Ashigaru. And we have hand wraps, which will help with the armor. We got a much better headpiece. We got much better leg wear. And we got a bent bamboo yari. Now, honestly, I'm going to take these two things and see if maybe Hoshi can use them even to up his uh, up his stuff. Even slightly. So he doesn't have hand wraps. And he doesn't have a uh, headpiece. So that's an uh, improvement of sorts regardless. And 20, 20, 12, 12 17, 4, 4. Okay, so nothing else upgrade. Uh, we got more villagers to upgrade. I'm going to evenly split them between spearmen and skirmishers, but right now I just want skirm uh, spearmen. And then I have a level up. So we're going... What are we going to go for here? I think we should probably go for strength at first, and then I'm going to work on the other stuff. And what we're going to go up with is... Do we want to move faster? We might want to move faster. That way we can catch basically everyone. However, some of these are pretty important as well, honestly. Um, I think we're going to go with pathfinding here. We're going to go with two-handed weapons, because as I said, I'm going to start pouring into that. Now, where is the hideout? That's the rebel hideout, not, not the hideout we're looking for. Aha! Over here, near Shiki, we have the Kidnapper's Mansion. Interesting. I, I don't remember there being mansions for the Kidnappers and stuff before. It was always like kidnapper hideout and it was uh, the classic thing. So I'm gonna just try and sell that off to the uh, slaver who was over here. Got a lot more money than just the random rabbles. Traveler, bard, marketplace, boom. Didn't really get me much. And off we go. Let's go to the mansion peoples. Whoa, looters. Whoa. Oh, actually, what are these? Canto Rebels. Ah, oh, let's see what our guys can do against five Canto Rebels. Oh, they have pretty heavy armor, actually. This... Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We will do it. I'm hoping that our guys can actually do anything against them. <laughs> Follow me, men! So, where are they? Whoa! Did you guys see that? That was crazy. Whoa, okay. Let's get across the river already. Everyone charge. Or, you know. I'll draw their fire, actually. Because they're, they're pretty much all focusing me at the moment the archers. So my guys can go around the other side while I make a beeline over here and dodge with, whoa, not the greatest of ease, but a little bit of ease because I'm not getting hit at least. Nice. Okay. Now I can come up in back of them. My villagers aren't doing too well against them. But they die pretty quickly to me. Actually. There you go. And we're almost done already. Yes! Good job, guys. We lost one random villager, which is no biggie. So we got this going for us, and we got a Kanto Rebel, who I imagine the uh, amount of money I get from him is going to be a lot higher than, say, the other stuff. And, oh, so worth it. Battered Okagawa retainer armor. Nine I can give that to Hoshi. Chipped Wakazashi, that's actually worth a good amount. Uh, cracked. 
Suyari, which is actually worth a good amount. So let's see what we can do here. So we wanted some skirmishers. I don't know if I want to fight eight just yet. Uh, are any of my other... No, nobody else is wounded except I have a little health down and Hoshi does. Uh, which reminds me, I'm going to shove some better equipment on you. Ho well, actually... <laughs> okay, here. I'll give you the chip walk, Zashi, for now. I might take it and sell it, but hey. Uh, the Kanto Rebels. The it whoa, whoa, whoa. 19 stack. I don't think I want the 19 stack. But I won't be fighting the 19 stack. I'm going to go to the mansion right after we fight these guys, but that 19 stack is way too much for us. So everybody, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm gonna, just going to have them charge. And we got a skirmisher with a gun, and we got two skirmishers with bows. Now, before it used to be that you would, you know, actually the skirmishers kind of are random at that point and then they specialize into marksmen or you know oh the bow or the gun although the guns are so bad okay fall back a little bit don't don't charge in with just one of you oh crap oh. okay charge in He's dead. And him. I'll help you, Spearman. He's dead. Come on, men. Oh, one of my skirmishers died. They're getting knocked unconscious. Shit. Yeah. I guess eight was a bit of a tall order. But my guys are doing okay. You won't defeat a Sagenaito. Yeah. So all my guys are unconscious, but at least we won. <laughs> oh man. And I had two men killed, one skirmisher, one spearman. So all in all, not too bad. Uh da, 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 da. that's actually it's not even a broken one. And that's the same okay. Okay. Whoa crap. You know something? It started me out here like that and then it just randomly ran me into them and that was kinda of annoying. But hey, why not? Let's sell off these goods. And visit the inn. Canter Rubble got me some money. I leveled up. I'm actually wondering, is there anybody? No, nobody will join with me. I leveled up again. Let's put it into strength. Because everything is um, modifiers of four. So like at 12, and then 16, I mean, wow, modifiers of 3, so 12, 15, 18, uh, that's when these can go up. So, uh, like, with my 9, I could have 3 on flesh. At 12, I'm going to have uh, the ability, at least, to take 4, which, you know, leveling up those skills is very important for damage and all the other stuff. I'm going to up our wound treatment due to the fact that everybody's pretty much wounded. Um, I'm gonna run, whoa, run this direction towards Kiyose. And hopefully we can recruit a couple new people before we go and attack. And uh, it'll also give us a nice little ability to heal up while we're traveling. And hopefully, I mean, we can Whoa, avoid any of those Kanto rebels who have a few more than we are willing to deal with at the moment. 
as soon as we get some more troops and everything else, and they're more, they're leveled up a bit, they have better armor and everything else, then they're not gonna be much of a problem. So five more. Oh, eight Kanto rebels. Actually, let's go into the castle, recruit. Aha! I can get a G Samurai. Those guys are badass. Let's see. What is my... I'm at 62%. I have 10 new villagers. My spearmen are all healed up. You know what? Why not? Let's go after some more Kanto rebels quickly and level up some of those villagers before we attack the kidnappers. The kidnappers are going to be exceptionally weak. I'm not saying that it's any big deal or anything, but for the moment, what I really want to do is take advantage of the fact that there are people wandering around everywhere. Not to mention the fact that one of the, the earliest things we're going to want to do is fight that rebel outpost. Uh, and so we're going to need some better people. Like, a lot better people. And that means leveling up our peoples that we have here. Whoa, whoa. Where's my G-Samurai? Come on, G-Samurai, hurry up. You're falling behind the rest of us. Come on. Hit him. Stop firing arrows at my peoples. Oh. Only got one more. Oh, and he killed a villager. The villagers die so easily. Good job, Hojo Spearman. So we have, whoa, five of our villagers killed. One of our spearmen. Wow, that was, uh, okay. But three of the Kanto rebels were actually just knocked unconscious, which is amazing. And we got some, whoa, that is really nice boots there. And we got these things that we can sell off. Those are not even worthwhile. So, we got three here. Uh, to replace our spearman and one to replace a skirmisher. Our G Samurai is going to be imperative. And our spearmen, two of them, have gone up to trained Hojo spearmen. And look at their armor. They look so bad. Whatever... Whoever, like, went and coded all those armors and everything else in was amazing. I mean, they just did a stellar job. I can't praise them enough. And right now, let's see. I'm going to go to the village center because this is about the end of our episode. Next time, we are going to, uh, to fight the kidnappers. But this is Asagi Raito, and until next time, would you kindly subscribe if you would, like if you could, and I'll see you next time on Mountain Blade Warband Gekko Kujo.